What's going on everyone, Nightwolf29 here, back at it again, presenting you with an unboxing video for the Nintendo Switch. I uh, just picked this up today, I mean it looks great, uh, very small type package, I also picked up Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we will get into that just a little bit. Um, again, I love the presentation of the box, it's nice, it's bright, it's colorful, I bought the neon red and blue ones, the controllers, so let's open this up real quick. Also has instructions on the very bottom to get you with a little quick setup. As you can see, here's the screen with the controllers. The screen that's pretty much the console, since the other part is just a dock. But I mean, looks great, very well protected. Everything's in nice little plastic wraps, just to make sure it doesn't get messed up. So let's carefully <laughs> take this stuff out. Definitely don't want to go ahead and break any of this, especially owning it for only. 20-30 minutes. Alright, so like I said, awesome display, everything in plastic. Take this out. So this thing, the console itself is practically like the size of a small tablet. I mean, it's it's crazy how small this thing really is. I'm going to pay for that saying later. As you can see, it's nice, glossy, very nice look. Put that off to the side. Let's get these controllers out. Alright, grabbing these controllers out. I mean, they feel great. They don't feel cheap at all. Fit pretty well into my hands and stuff. Uh, the joysticks are a little small. The buttons are small, but I mean, this thing is essentially... It really reminds me of almost like a, a Game Gear. Alright, so... In terms of getting the controllers on. Get the control like so. There's a little rail system that's on the top. You just slide it down. There's a satisfying click. It goes with it, keeps it nice and secure, doesn't feel like it's going to slip out, it's not flexible, it's pretty rigid, so that way it'll never slip out. As you can see, there's also a nice little stand that's on the back, nice emblem, Nintendo Switch. Again, like I said, feels sturdy, has shoulder buttons on top that I actually didn't really think were there, so like a left-right trigger, you have your power, the cartridge goes in on the far right there on the top. Again, just feels great in the hand. It's pretty light, doesn't feel bulky, doesn't weigh you down or anything like that. So I'll definitely be excited to jump right into this thing. Alright, just want to show one little feature, of course. Here it is, the kickstand I was speaking about. Very easy to, to pull back or come back. Also click. Everything on this thing clicks. And when it clicks, that's how you know it works. And there you go. I have a nice little kickstand. Alright, so let's take a look. What else comes out in the box? Of course, everything else. Nicely packaged. Wrapped in plastic. Don't want to damage anything. Now it comes with an HDMI cord so you don't have to go out and buy that. You already have it. Pretty standard HDMI cord so that's great for Nintendo to provide for you. Let's put that off to the side here. So let me move this board so I don't knock it off the table there. Alright, of course, I have to be able to make it turn on. So, pretty standard power cable. Comes in, it's not too bulky, which is great. Everything with this is not some bulky mess, so it saves space. So right here, I forget what exactly what it's called, but it's going to be the connection that you'll use for the individual controller. It comes with a cord as well. I'll show that off more in a little bit. Okay, and here is kind of the controller housing. It's pretty nice. All right, we have usual important safety information, don't play this in the bathtub, don't throw it at people, you know, pretty pretty standard <laughs> type stuff. Now here is going to be the docking station itself. And it's like a hard plastic. There's a slot on the top, and I'm showing the back of the housing itself. Open it up, shows where the AC adapter goes, USB port. Uh, there's also the HDMI port. 
HDMI out port at least. Just trying to show that off to you guys and girls. All right, bringing back everything with the setup. Now the way you remove the controllers is a small button that's at the very top of it on the back that you can hit, and then you just slide them on out. It's real easy, real simple. Wasn't a lot of trouble at all. And then, same way just for the controller housing, put it on the slide rail on the side, push down, it'll click. That tells you that it's fastened and secure. And voila, we have kind of a hybrid type controller system that you can use. Now it's like the size of my hand. I'm trying to give you the scale right there. Like this is not that big. It's pretty tiny. And I'll compare it also with my other controllers. Now this is the attachment I was speaking about where you can put it on each individual controller. The switch, it comes with two so you can use it for both controllers. Again, same little slide system. Push down, click, and there you go. So two buttons on top act like shoulder buttons. You use the one little controller. You have the other buttons that you can play. You line it up with the plus signs. As you can see kind of in the right corner, you have the rope so that it stays secure so you're not flinging it around and you don't lose it. Alright, well, let's get to the main event. Now here's the front of the housing. Just take the little tablet part and literally slide it right in. You'll feel it just fasten down and that is it. You now have your console. Your portable console is now your home console. You know what? Let's let's show off the uh, Legend of Zelda real quick. Nice little unboxing. And this is all you get. <laughs> There's no other little paper, but I mean nice artwork inside. And that little cartridge is the game. That's it. Everything's tiny, everything's portable, but it's great. And that is it. Thanks for watching my unboxing video. If you like what you just saw, subscribe to my page by hitting that icon in the top left. Check more of my videos in the bottom left. And as always, I will talk to you later.